It is Q&A Thursday, and this is a day where I check all your emails and see all your questions. And thank you, you have been sending a lot of your questions uh, through my email, office at emamariaromatherapy.com. And let me just review some. Let me start with one from James W. Thuo, I think from Nairobi. And he asks about rosemary essential oil. He asks, what are the benefits of rosemary essential oil, and should he invest in this oil? Now, first and foremost, James, thank you. You say you are also a subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your question. Now, rosemary essential oil is one of the most important oils in history, I would say. It has been used for thousands of years, especially in the culinary sector, as a seasoning. We know it because it is highly aromatic and medicinal. So it comes with many benefits when it comes to holistic wellness and health. Now, the first benefit is brain function. Recent studies have shown that when you inhale rosemary oil, you can prevent the breakdown of a substance, a chemical substance in the brain called acetylcholine. Now, when you prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine, you improve thinking, memory, and concentration because that's the chemical element involved in the same. So another common benefit of rosemary essential oil is hair growth. Rosemary has been studied and researched and has been found to be beneficial when it comes to male pattern baldness or what we call andro androgenic alopecia. This is hair loss mainly seen in men. Now, the studies have shown that this oil could be even as effective or even better than minoxidil. Minoxidil is just a remedy they use, a conventional drug for alopecia. Also, rosemary essential oil, when used on the scalp, has been seen to reduce itching compared to other remedies for hair loss. And it is also effective for other forms of alopecia. You may be suffering with patches of hair loss, which is called alopecia irata. And this can really, really help to rejuvenate your hair. The elements in rosemary are very effective when it comes to stimulating those follicles so that you can eliminate this alopecia with time. This is not an overnight thing, and it's also not a silver bullet, but with time, and when used the right way, it can be the answer to hair loss, especially male pattern baldness, or what we call androgenic alopecia. So there are many other benefits of rosemary. We have pain, because it is an analgesic. It can repel bugs like spiders, mosquitoes, and even mites. Rosemary can ease stress. It's also a very good stimulant when it comes to circulation. And among many other benefits, including reducing joint pains. So as you can see, James Duo from Nairobi, rosemary essential oil is a very good oil to have in your arsenal of your holistic wellness stuff. And it will clearly improve your health you can buy it in various formats as long as it is high quality and pure um, rosemary oil. You can use it as a single oil or you can buy it when it is mixed with other substances. Although I don't encourage people to buy uh, concoctions that you don't understand all the constituents. So I prefer that you buy a pure essential oil where you can add your own elements and carrier oils so that you can be sure of purity. James W. Duo, thank you for reaching out and thank you for your question. If that does not fully answer you, you can reach out and we can give you more information on the same. If you're looking for pure rosemary essential oil, you can also reach out to me and I'll guide you in the right direction. Now we have other questions from, is it Jane? Yeah, thank you. You say you also subscribe. Thank you. And you also sent over a coffee. Thank you via PayPal. Thank you so much. And we'll take, I'll take the question from Jane, I think. Remember these questions, I get them through my email, office at emamariaromatherapy.com. You can also check out my website, emamariaromatherapy.com, where you will find free resources. We have expert articles, we have tutorials like this one. You will also get to see all the aromatherapy essentials that you need so that you can create that holistic wellness arsenal that you need for you to be well. So the question by Jane is, 
Now, how did I, I guess that's you asking me, how did I decide to start at the, at this aromatherapy business? Or what made me decide to go into or to venture into the aromatherapy business? That's a good question. Well, I'll try to answer it as, uh, because it's a long story. This is not a question with one answer, but I'll just try to give you some of the reasons why I started. So Jane, thank you so much for that question. Normally I don't get such questions, but it is okay. Now, how did I start this aromatherapy business here in Kenya? That's a good question. I guess it all started in 2021, September, or from September. In the year 2021, September is the month that I lost my husband of 10 years due to COVID-19. And I was left with three kids, all of them who are under the age of seven. So from that time, just like many other people in the world, we were forced to introspect and look for answers within when it came to health, wellness, and even happiness in life. So before COVID-19, I think, especially in my household, we had this lifestyle of just looking for money. It was all about looking for money, the best big deal, the next big thing to look for money and just accumulate more and more and more and more. But as a result, we just found ourselves just living from check to check or what you may call from salary to salary or from wage to wage. And I think that lifestyle, not having a clear purpose, it's like we were limited to becoming just slaves, people looking for money and then you just spend it. And then you just wake up the other day, the following day, just looking for money. Yeah, so after the death, I realized, of course, that life is very short and you cannot spend your days or your years your years just looking for money. I felt like I needed to go deeper and look for a deeper purpose. And um, at that time, I had worked with an aromatherapy company, a company based in Taiwan, manufacturing essential oils and diffusers, and I had consulted with them for a long time. And that's what gave me the idea of wellness. It gave me a purpose and it allowed me to transform my own life, whether it came to weight loss, not just physical weight loss, but also emotional and mental weight loss because I had to deal with the grief, with the stress, with the reality of becoming a single mother for the first time I never imagined I would become. So I needed to have the right state of mind and I could not achieve that with the lifestyle I was living before. So I decided to just go deeper into what would give, would give me a purpose. How would I impact the society? Because I did not just want to live for myself and just your kids and you just earn money. But how would you impact the society in general? Those are the questions I asked myself. And especially because I realized that indeed life is short and we cannot waste any moment that we have. So at that time, I decided I needed to get rid of all those elements that would hold me back and look for my deeper purpose. So I delved deeper into aromatherapy. I also got a scholarship and I studied to become a certified clinical aromatherapist, which I did in the year 2023. And I became certified by the Canadian Federation of Aromatherapists, among other bodies. So what did I study and what was the point? So what I studied was wholeness using nature. Essential oils are just oils from nature. How can we use these important herbs and oils to restore wellness and health and wholeness in general? And it all starts in the mind. So for me, I used essential oils to clear my mind, to overcome grief, to have a sense of purpose, to be happier, and this is how I found my joy. So I decided also that I'll need to share this information with other people so that we can explore more on how to change our bad lifestyles. Those stressful lifestyles where you just live from paycheck to paycheck and you don't really care whether you have a bigger purpose or not. 
So I had worked from home since the year 2008. Yes, my background is in digital marketing. So especially in the online space. So I was used to just being the master of my time. So I decided to finish the scholarship and I got the certificate and I decided that I want to help people achieve wellness and wholeness through aromatherapy or with the use of essential oils. So I decided to become a, an essential oils educator or a, a person who can consult with clients to find out how well they can improve their health in a natural way. So that's my background. That's how I landed into this business. Now, if you're asking about the technical part of it, like does it pay, how do I make money? Well, that's a good question. The first thing I did is to decide that whether I get money or not, that would not decide my fate, so to speak. So I would do it without money, with or without money, because it was my purpose. And somehow, I think when you make such a radical decision, I think there is an alignment, I think through God or, or, or something, because I saw one thing after uh, falling into place, one thing after another, and I was able to find people who actually believed in me, even after do, even having 50 uh, followers, even at 10 followers, people would reach out to me and even buy a coffee or something. And that was so encouraging. So I decided that apart from curating expert information about aromatherapy and essential oils, I decided to look for quality tools that pertain to aromatherapy. What am I talking about? Diffusers. We have so many low quality diffusers in the market that do not do the job. So I also discovered that most people have diffusers, but they don't really have diffusers. The market is flooded with poor quality humidifiers. These are diffuser wannabes that you mix oil and water and just inhale the aroma. That is not good enough when it comes to aromatherapy. Essential oils should not be mixed with water and diffused. Why? Because you don't get the full aromatherapy benefits. So I decided to look for diffusers that are waterless and high quality. So sometimes if you go to the market, you find that there's a diffuser for 1,000 bob, 2,000 bob. Chances are that it's of a poorer quality and you cannot enjoy high-level aromatherapy like that. So I tasked myself to look for the right diffusers, waterless diffusers, also source for essential oils that would be of pure quality from the market. And that is what I decided to do so that I can have, as I present this information, I can have products that are of high value to the viewer or to the customer. So that's how I started. And that's the purpose. Now, has the journey been easy? Of course not. It is just like any other business. You have to be focused. You have to have that purpose, know your mission, and even see the vision in the long run. My vision and mission is to make sure that everybody who comes to me is able to improve their wellness and, and wholeness. That is my biggest mission, is to make sure that your wellness and your wholeness are improved in a natural way. How do I do this? By imparting the knowledge that I have, by exploring all the possibilities to make sure that you incorporate aromatherapy as a complementary modality. It's, it's not an alternative modality, no. It's something to complement your life. We are not saying that you abandon your conventional drugs, no. We are just saying that you complement your life with this natural, holistic method of attaining health. It is thousands of years in the making. It has been proven to work. Our grandmothers and grandfathers, especially here in Africa, in Egypt, we know the history. They used essential oils for almost everything when it came to beauty, wealth, health, wellness, beauty, health, wellness, and that means body, mind, spirit, and many others. So we have a very good history. So we are just going back to our roots to explore the goodness of these essential oils because they come from plants and plant parts. And also because in our society today, we are bombarded by so many chemical alternatives that are not good for our health. 
so many medicines come with the side effects. And most of the time, you're not even aware. You are not even aware how much harm some medicines do to your body. So whether you are looking to reduce stress, reduce anxiety, all I'm saying is that you don't have to go to the counter, over the counter, to buy an expensive antidepressant that has side effects. I'm just saying I can mix a blend for you that may work even better than the antidepressant to lift your mood and to relieve you of the stress and even depression because these oils have been proven to work. So that's my purpose. I find a lot of joy in bringing this knowledge to you and the households, especially here in Kenya, because I discovered many people are not aware what aromatherapy is and what the possibilities are. So in a nutshell, Jen, thank you for that question. I ventured into aromatherapy so that we can revive this old knowledge and we can benefit from it. So thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Emma Mary Wanjiko here in Kenya. I'm your certified clinical aromatherapist here to help you in the journey of wholeness and wellness through aromatherapy or the use of essential oils. If you found any value, feel free to subscribe, share, and even like. Also, if you have any questions or concerns or you, you wish to speak directly to me and consult, reach me through office at emmameriaromatherapy.com. Remember, my prayer for you is that you may be whole and well.